there. This is Coach Monica with a Grace and Strength Lifestyle, and today I have the wonderful opportunity of doing a graduation video with Holly, who lives out in the suburb of Chicago. Hey, Holly. Hi. So, you know what? We want to hear all about it. We want to hear about your journey, but most importantly, tell us first what brought you to Grace and Strength. Um, I saw a clip from another like kind of acquaintance, not necessarily a close friend and, and the biblical, and I had known she was going to take it because I had known a friend of a friend of a mutual friend that she was not joining a Bible study I was in and she was going to do this grace and strength thing. So it intrigued me that it was a Bible study with a program. So, okay. I love how the Lord will just use a random clip you know and then we'll bring you to this lifestyle so tell me you know a lot of ladies have a question and the question is was it easy was it hard so tell them about it tell them from you know the beginning to what you learned in the phase three and phase four basically you know learning about how to like eat normal healthy food um, with a very active life so let's hear about it Holly um, was it easy? Yes. Was it hard? Yes. So all of the above. Um, you know, I had done many programs before like this, just whole food and clean eating. And it was more so the accountability that went along with it than um, the program. And I, I love to eat. I love to work out. It was just more of the accountability that went along with it. In a biblical setting with, with women who um, wanted to grow deeper with the Lord. And that was definitely what I was yearning for. Yes, yes. And, you know, you have had a major transformation. You know, you feel stronger. You are preparing your meals. And, like, so tell me about and tell all the ladies about the homework and just the group atmosphere. What did you like most about that? Well, I liked, um, you know, I like having the Facebook wall to just see other ideas and spur each other on. I'm huge with encouragement and reading. And so I love the, um, you know, just getting into the word. Um, I just loved that, um, you know, team atmosphere and that it wasn't just um, you doing the program which with a bunch of people that, you know, weren't necessarily believers and knew that this was a transformation that God had all, had us all on. And, um, yeah, I just, I love the setting, you know, you, you can also put the pressure on yourself as much as you want to do, or as, as you know, I'm also in school. I also have another Bible study. We have children, we have lives outside of here. So, you know, just like everything you put into it, what you get out. Amen. Well, and I love how you mentioned that, Holly, because, you know, sometimes the number one reason why ladies don't join Grace and Strength is because they're too busy. They're too busy to learn how to eat healthy and to do all that work. Now tell me, how were you able to manage all of those hats, sister, that you wear and, and reach goal and not only reach goal, but sister, you've been maintaining quite well for some time. So talk to us about that. Well, you know, I think it's, you know, I, I had, I had higher expectations on myself going into it, of course, thinking I would be through it quicker. So I think it's like all of life with checks and balances that, you know, you know, I'm, I'm concentrating more on my kids here, more on my husband here, more on my job here. Um, I'm also substitute teacher. So I never know what my day is going to look like. And, um, and that's helped me to just sit in his palm and know that I'm not perfect and there's good days and bad days and you know it's not easy and it's hard and it's abiding. I love that you know knowing that we're in that season right now of teaching and learning about seasons and abiding in the vine you know what Holly I think it's beautiful that you really just mentioned a, a, an important place for all of us to remember as women is that you know we have these ideas in our mind of how long something should take 
mm-hmm. and when we should arrive and what it's going to look like when we get there, but how important it is to rest in God's timing um, and, and what you learn along the way, those little nuggets that sometimes only come from the difficult places, right? Mm-hmm. So Holly, you know, I just want to say congratulations. I mean, it's been an amazing journey with you and I know you've learned so much and I know that you've shared so much with other people about what you have gone through, but it doesn't stop here. Yay. (laughs) You get to keep on going and um, Mm -hmm. continue the journey in alumni. But you know what, Holly, one last question. You know, um, I want you to take the opportunity to speak to that one lady that might be watching this right now that has really kind of just thought, well, maybe later. You know, maybe later I'll do that. Maybe next year, you know, once my kids are graduated high school or, you know, all of those laters, right? What would you say to her right now, Holly? Oh, uh, that's tough because, and it's easy at the same time, but I'm right now just, God's brought to me James and just how, um, you know, we're not to just listen to the word, but to actually do the word. And we're in this constant ebb and flow of doing and then abiding. And um, I think that, you know, God always wants us to mature in Christ today, now, right the second. Um, but, you know, just like I had bought a book and you buy all these books and some sit on your bookshelf forever. And then all of a sudden you looked for it. And I looked for a book that you had told me to get because I knew I bought it years ago and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it. And then all of a sudden, not looking the other day, I found that book. And so right there at that time and at that moment, God wants you, you know, he wanted me to read that book. So it's the same thing as, I mean, your heart, your mind, and your soul have to be ready for it. But I think that really in obedience, you need to be ready right now because we never know when the time will come and he's coming and I don't want to miss the boat. And so I would pray that other women who are struggling in bondage and are living in freedom would want that sooner than later. Amen. 100% agreed. (laughs) So you know what, Holly, I just want to say thank you again. And I look forward to seeing you in alumni. And you know, just keep on going, sister. Don't give up. Keep on learning. Keep on striving and keep on resting at the feet of Jesus, sister. I love you, Holly. And thanks again. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Bye. Bye.